Hi, I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Celie Clark. And, and we, we are Gently. We are excited to share another Gently quick tip with you today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another quick tip from Gently. In this quick tip Gently video, we are going to show you how you can create custom announcement headers in Teams with Adobe Spark. We love announcements in Microsoft Teams. And Jenny, what is one of our favorite features of announcements? I love using announcements because it just stands out. And I love the um, illustrations. Like Teams already has illustrations built in, which are like, you know, academic or sports or different themes. But I what mean, about customizing? Like, oh, you know what? I love the fantasy ones in Teams. And Jenny loves uh, the nerdy ones. That's what she goes for always. But the paper pencil. <laughs> But what if we customize them for whatever we're doing in class? Wouldn't that be I think great? That's a great idea. You know what? We actually can. We can customize them with Adobe Spark. It's one of our favorite features. So with Adobe Spark, you can personalize your headers. Just make sure that your dimensions are 918 by 120. That's important. Yeah. Uh, but I love this because uh, my son's teacher is even putting her little bit emoji on every announcement, and she'll say, "Meet back at 920," and then the next one will say, "You know, meeting starts at." 11 o'clock, and she uses those custom headers with her cute little bit emojis, and I just love that personalization. It's so great. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log in to Adobe Spark. It's free for educators. You can log in with your school email, or like our school, it's actually integrated into our SSO. So let's go there now and log All right, once you get logged in, we're going to create a Spark post. And right over here, if I click the arrow, you will see custom size. We're going to click custom size and enter. All right, Jenny, what is it? 918. And 120. You want to make sure it says PX here because there's a few different uh, sizes or styles you can do. And say next. Yay! And it's automatically got it here on the screen ready for us. They do give you some spark ideas, but if you click on these, it will change the dimension. So let's not do that. <laughs> However, a really great piece is colors. You can choose your color theme. So by default, my color theme will be this, or I can choose any of these others that I might like. And then, I know, watch this though. This part really makes me happy. I can go to layout, and it's going to give me ideas of my layout. How cool is that? I love that. I need all the help I can get. I knew you would. <laughs> so like I can click here, and look, it gives me all these different layout options and ideas. All right, so let's create one for a math meeting at 11 o'clock. This one has three sections, but I think I'm going to choose this one with two just so I can really customize it. One of the things I love is, look, if I click in here, move it. yeah, okay. I can move it that way. I can also add icons. So up here at the top, I can say add. I can do an icon. And let's look for a math one since we said a math meeting. This is where even I can upload my own images too, yeah, right? You can. So I'm going to do this one here, mm, and it automatically so puts it right there into that little square. So I'm just going to scoot this over a little more. Ta -da! Yes, you can upload your own. So if I do the add right here, photo, oh. and upload. upload. So you, so you put your cute bitmoji in there. Now you're going to make me do it oh. because I love this. So let's see if we can find ours. Generally, bitmoji. Ha <laughs> We'll just do this one. We want to move it freely so I can move it anywhere on the page that I want. Ta-da! Thinking about, oh. <laughs> I just grabbed one. <laughs> so cute. it's a really great way to add bitmojis in here too. But we still need text. Mm -hmm. So again, from that same spot, plus button, text. text. And now we can actually do a, a design where it gives you design ideas. Or you can just type. So I'm just going to add text. Okay, say done, and it's going to add it right there. And then you can customize it and adjust it. And however, it you want. however you want it to look. But our favorite is right down here. I'll have to move us for a second, is style. When you click style, it mm. gives you this awesome little ring, and you can move it. And look, it's going to automatically It's like style. the remix button. It is. This way. I love it so much. I like this one. Yeah. I know. And then I can even make it larger by pulling, or I can click up here on the type and, uh, you know, really adjust my fonts. All, All right. right. So once you're done, you're just going to download that image. PNG is perfect. Start download. It's going to download here. And now let's go back to Teams and add it. 
So we're going to click on the A button as we're starting an announcement. Let me move this back over here again. As we're starting an announcement, new conversation, announcement, got our big headline. And right here on the photo button, I'm going to say choose, oh, upload, upload an image. Upload. And now I can click here and it's going to be in my downloads. downloads. Once you locate your downloaded item, you click it, click open. Ta-da! Now I'm going to click add oh, look at automatically. That. It looks so good. It looks great. Um, however, it did cut it off a little bit. So that's something to think about. You might want to measure your margins, maybe come in a little bit on your cream. All right. Now you know how to make custom headers with Adobe Spark for your Microsoft Teams announcement. So go and be creative. We can't wait to see what you do. Let oh us goodness. know if you have questions. Oh, I can't wait to see all the customized oh, yeah. teams that come out of this. Tweet it out. Great. Let us yes. know what you create. Tag us. All right, go and be a different kind of awesome. Bye.